welcome in the second part of tutorial how to crochet simple teddy bear. In the first part I showed you how to crochet legs and body of teddy bear and in this part I will show you how to crochet head, face, arms and ears of teddy bear. Start with magic ring and now I'm going to show you how to crochet head of teddy. Chain one and make six single crochets into the magic ring. Then tighten the magic ring and join the round with a slip stitch. Now you can use stitch marker if you want. I'm going to use just the tail and mark the start because we are going to work in a round so you need to know where is the start. In this row we will increase every stitch so we are going to make two single crochets in every stitch all the way around and in this first row I will use stitches and not front loop so insert the hook into the stitch and make single crochets. So make two single crochets into the each uh, stitch all the way around. At the end you should have 14 stitches or 14 single crochets. In the second row we are going to insert the hook into the front loop. In the second row uh, we need to increase every second uh, front loop. So make two single crochets into the front loop every second front loop. So continue working two single crochets every second front loop, pause the video and meet me back again uh, on the start of next row. In this row we will increase every third front loop. So make two single crochets into the same space, then make one single crochet in the next two front loop and increase again so make two single crochets into the same space in this row we are going to increase every fourth uh, front loop so make two single crochets and in the next three front loops 
make just one single crochet and then increase again so make two single crochets in fourth loop continue working like this and meet me back again okay this is the uh, last row of increasing so make uh, two single crochets into the same space and then make one single crochet into the next uh, four, four uh, front loops so we are going to increase every fifth uh, front loop or stitch it's up to you if you will insert the hook into the stitch or front loop now we will not increase so make just one single crochet into the each front loop all the way around and make five rows together It's starting to have a uh, right shape, it should be like ball, we need to uh, get ball and now we are going to decrease, so decrease uh, every fifth front loop. So make single crochets two together, then make one single crochet into the next four front loops. And decrease again in another fifth front loop here so make single crochets two together in next row we are going to decrease every fourth front loop so make single crochets two together and in next three front loops make just one single crochet and now we need to decrease again so continue working like this and meet me back in this row uh, we will decrease again of course but now um, I'm going to use mar stitch marker here and I want to show you how to hide the tail. I'm going to hide the tail behind my work. So make single crochets two together. And then hide the tail behind your work in next two front loops make just one single crochet and then decrease again and make single crochets two together so in this row uh, we are decreasing every third uh, front loop then put the tail inside the head and continue working Now it's time for uh, ice buttons. We need to place them now because we are nearly uh, at the end. And we need to use hollow fiber as well. So place uh, ice buttons where, wherever you want. I'm going to place it uh, somewhere here.
close to each other like this and here will be the uh, nose buttons and mouth of teddy bear Okay, and now fill the head up uh, by hollow fiber. Make the right uh, shape of head, so we need to have nice ball. And now we can crochet again. So we need to close the ball and in this row we are going to decrease every second front loop. So make two single crochets to, to together in the next front loop one single crochet and in the next front loop make two single crochets to together again. So continue working uh, like this to the end of this row. Then meet me back and I will tell you what else what we what we will do next. Okay, that's all. Now we need to close the head, so we will decrease every uh, front loop and use hollow fiber if you need. I made a slip stitch at the end and keep the tail longer because we will use it for sewing the head to the body. Here will be a mouth and here will be ears. Now I'm going to show you how to crochet uh, arms. So take the hook number five again and we are going to start with a magic ring. So make magic ring. and chain one make five single crochets into the magic ring Tighten the magic ring and join the round with a slip stitch in the first chain. Mark the start, like always when we work in the round. And now increase every stitch. So make two single crochets uh, into the each stitch all the way around. In first row uh, I work with stitches again 
and in second row we will work with front loop at the end of this row you should have 12 single crochets or 12 stitches Okay, and now in the second row we will work with front loop. In this row and um, next three rows we will not increase, so make one single crochet into the each front loop all the way around and um, don't increase four rows together. So make four rows single crochets into the front loop now we need to decrease so you will decrease two times here and here so make single crochet two together then make single crochet into the front loop uh, about three times or four times and then decrease again so make two single crochets two together and then continue working one single crochet into the each front loop to the end so you will make about three single crochets and another three rows we will not decrease or increase so it will be without change make one single crochet into the each front loop all the way around and make three rows together now we need to decrease again so decrease two times here and on the opposite side so make single crochets two together then one single crochet into the front loop one single crochet into the front loop and one single crochet into the front loop and here you can decrease again so make two single crochets two together then continue working one single crochet into the each front loop to the end of this row make three rows without change so make three rows of single crochets So continue working one single crochet into the each front loop all the way around and make three rows. Okay, that's all and we have done arm. You need to have two arms so make a second arm the same.
and always keep the tail longer and now we need to fill it up by hollow fiber but uh, not uh, completely uh, I will fill the arm up just on the bottom on the bottom of arm and little in the middle but not in the upper part because I don't want the arm to be um, so hard okay when you have two arms of teddy bear we can uh, make ears Take crochet hook number five again. We need to start with magic ring. So make magic ring and chain one. Work five single crochets into the magic ring. Tighten the magic ring and join the round with a slip stitch. Mark the start. And first row we will use stitches again and we will increase every stitch so make two single crochets into the each stitch all the way around In the second row we will not increase, but if you want to have a bigger ear um, or thicker ear, you can increase in the second row every, every second front loop. It depends up to you. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this type of ears, it will be uh, not too big small thinner <laughs> ears now we are going to use just front loops and we will not increase we will make one single crochet into the each front loop all the way around and make three or four rows together Okay, this is the shape of my ear or of my uh, teddy's ear <laughs> and keep the tail longer and at the end make a slip stitch and of course make the second one by the same way. Now we are going to make the mouth of Teddy and uh, I will use the white color of the yarn you can use what color you want but it should be lighter than the first one and 
and we are not going to use the crochet hook number five use the smaller one and make a slip knot and then chain six into the second chain make two single crochets one single crochet and two single crochet into the same space into the next three chains make just one single crochet in the last chain make four single crochets you can hide the tail behind your work Into the next three stitches make one single crochet. One single crochet into the next three stitches. And we are nearly at the end of the first row. So make two single crochets into the same place, make two single crochets into the last stitch. And join the round with a slip stitch. Chain one and make two single crochets into the next two stitches. So two single crochets in the first stitch. one and two and two single crochets in the second stitch then make one single crochet in next three stitches now make two single crochets in next four stitches Now one single crochet in the next three stitches and then we have to uh, make two single crochets in the next last two stitches. At the end make a slip stitch over here
chain one and now make just one single crochet in mm, into each stitch all the way around so in this row we will not increase at the end of course make a slip stitch and that's all Now use the nose button if you have some, uh, if you will sew it, you can do it after, but it's better maybe now. Okay, find the middle of the mouth. Now it's time for the black cotton yarn and yarn needle. And we are going to sew the mouth of the teddy bear. So just follow me. Inside the needle in the same same hole like the nose button and then here and make a smile Okay, that's all, and now I will make just slip knot, and I will make the slip knot near the nose button. Now you can hide it and close it 
Oops. Okay, you can cut the yarn. And cut the white yarn as well. Okay, and you will just sew the mouth to the head by your favorite stitch. I will not show you how because I think uh, everybody knows. Everybody knows, and um, I don't think it's hard. <laughs> I will use hollow fiber for the mouth, not just little. Because it will make a uh, better shape of mouth. And you will saw the ears to the head as well and arms to the body and the head to the uh, to the body of Teddy. Uh, you can uh, sew eyebrows as well if you want. And that's really all from this tutorial. I just want to show you it's it looks better nicer with um, low fiber the mouth I left uh, their little hole and I really use just little low fiber for the mouth and then you can close it Okay, thank you very much for watching, I really hope you liked the video and see you next time, bye!